Have you ever felt an inexplicable connection with someone, a bond that transcends physical attraction or intellectual compatibility? Picture a connection so profound that it seems as if your souls have known each other for eons. This is the realm of twin flames, a spiritual and emotional phenomenon where two souls are drawn together in a bond that transcends the bounds of the physical world. If that rings a bell, you might have stumbled upon your twin flame. So what happens when you meet your twin flame, you might ask? Well, it's an odyssey that unfolds through various stages, known collectively as the twin flame reunion stages. Now, it's important to remember that these stages are not linear. They don't follow a strict progression from one to the next. Instead, they're cyclical, repeating and overlapping in a complex dance that mirrors the intricate connection between twin flames. Think of it as a cosmic roller coaster, full of twists and turns, ups and downs, and moments of breathtaking clarity and intense confusion. At times, it might feel like you're moving backwards. But remember, this journey isn't about getting from point A to point B. It's about growth, transformation, and the eternal dance of union and separation. Understanding these stages can offer clarity and guidance during the tumultuous journey of twin flame reunion. It's a path of discovery, a voyage into the deepest corners of your soul. So buckle up and let's dive in. The first stage of a twin flame reunion is recognition. This is an extraordinary moment, an awakening of sorts that is often overlooked in the grandeur of the entire twin flame journey. Imagine a feeling of immediate connection. It's as if you've met this person before, or perhaps you've known them your entire life, even though you've just met. It's a sense of familiarity that transcends time, space, and the physical world. This is not a typical love at first sight phenomenon. It's deeper, more profound, and more soul-shaking. Now picture an intense attraction, but not merely on a physical or emotional level. This attraction is more like a magnetic pull that draws you towards the other person. It's an attraction that resonates with your very soul, creating a connection that is impossible to ignore or deny. It's as if your soul recognizes its twin, its mirror image, its perfect match. But this stage is not just about recognizing your twin flame. It's about recognizing a part of yourself in another person. It's about recognizing the love, the energy, and the potential that exists within you. It's as if you're seeing your own reflection in a mirror. But this reflection is not just physical. It's spiritual, emotional, and energetic. This recognition stage can be overwhelming, confusing, and even scary. It's like a spiritual awakening, a sudden realization that shakes your world and challenges your beliefs. But it's also an opportunity for growth, for transformation, and for love. This stage is like a call from the universe, a call to embark on a journey that will change your life forever. It's a call to explore the depths of your soul, to face your fears, to embrace your desires, and to discover the true essence of love and connection. This stage is a pivotal moment in the twin flame journey. It's the beginning of an incredible adventure, a journey of love, self-discovery, and spiritual growth. It's a journey that will take you to the depths of your soul and to the heights of your spirit. This is the stage where you feel an intense pull towards the other person, instantly knowing that something significant is happening. It's the start of a journey that will transform you, inspire you, challenge you, and ultimately unite you with your twin flame. Following the recognition is the test stage. This phase is marked by the surfacing of challenges and trials that are designed to test the strength of the twin flame bond. It is an essential part of the journey, and it's during this stage that both individuals are pushed to their limits. The test stage is not a punishment, nor is it a sign of failure. Rather, it is an opportunity for growth and transformation. It's like the universe's way of saying, let's see what you're made of. And what you're made of is far more than you might initially believe. During this period, insecurities and past wounds may be triggered. It's as if a mirror is held up, reflecting back to you the parts of yourself that you might have been avoiding or suppressing. This can be difficult and uncomfortable. After all, we often prefer to hide from our shadows rather than face them. But facing them is precisely what the test stage calls for. What kind of insecurities might surface? 
It could be anything from feelings of unworthiness, fear of abandonment, or even deep-seated beliefs that love is conditional. It's important to remember, these insecurities are not the reality of who you are. They are merely illusions, old stories that you've been carrying around, and now is the time to let them go. Past wounds may also re-emerge, serving as reminders of hurts that have not yet fully healed. These could be from past relationships, childhood experiences, or any other trauma that has left a mark on your soul. The pain of these wounds may be intense, but remember, healing is possible. And through this healing, transformation occurs. It's crucial to approach these challenges with understanding and compassion. Be gentle with yourself. Remember, you're not alone on this journey. Your twin flame is going through the same process, facing their own insecurities and wounds. This stage is about breaking down old patterns and beliefs to make way for a new, healthier way of being. It's about embracing the truth of who you are, shedding the illusions that no longer serve you. The test stage can be difficult, but it serves as a catalyst for personal growth and transformation. It's your opportunity to step into your power, to embrace your truth, and to move forward on your journey with a newfound strength and a deeper understanding of yourself. The crisis stage is where things really start to heat up. This is the stage where the twin flame connection, which seemed so magical and perfect, begins to be tested in the most profound ways. It's important to understand that this is not a sign of failure or a signal that the connection isn't real. Quite the contrary, it's a part of the natural progression of the twin flame journey. Imagine two pieces of metal being forged into a single stronger piece. The process is intense, it's hot, and it's full of sparks. But the result is something far stronger and more beautiful than the individual pieces. That's what the crisis stage is like. It's the fire that forges the bond between twin flames, making it unbreakable and everlasting. During this stage, conflicts and crises are bound to arise. These could be internal conflicts where you might question the validity of the connection or your worthiness of such an intense love. Or they could be external crises like disagreements, misunderstandings, or even separations. These conflicts and crises can be challenging, painful even, but they are crucial for growth. They are opportunities for each twin flame to look within, to confront their deepest fears and insecurities, and to grow and evolve as individuals. It's during this stage that patience and understanding become more important than ever. It's not a time for blame or resentment. Instead, it's a time for unconditional love and compassion for yourself and for your twin flame. Remember, the intensity of the crisis stage is a reflection of the depth of the connection. It's a testament to the potential of the twin flame bond. It's a sign that you are on the right path, even if it may not seem like it in the moment. So when you find yourself in the midst of the crisis stage, take a deep breath. Trust in the process, believe in the bond, and most importantly, believe in yourself. Though it may be a period of upheaval, the crisis stage is a necessary part of the twin flame journey. It's a stage of growth, transformation, and ultimately a deepening of the twin flame connection. Next, we enter the runner and chaser stage. This stage is a dance of sorts, a play of push and pull. Picture a scene from a classic romance novel where one character is seemingly always running away and the other is forever in pursuit. This is the essence of the runner and chaser stage in the journey of twin flames. It's a stage characterized by one twin distancing themselves, often out of fear or insecurity, and the other twin flames ceaselessly seeking to close that gap. The dynamics of this stage can be complex and emotionally charged. The runner, in their quest for independence or escape from the intensity of the connection, may create distance. This can manifest in various ways, from physical separation to emotional detachment. On the other hand, the chaser, driven by an overwhelming desire to reconnect, will persist in pursuit. They may struggle with feelings of rejection or abandonment, but are often unable to resist the magnetic pull towards their twin flame. It's as if they are instinctively drawn to chase, driven by an unseen force. This stage can be tumultuous, filled with highs and lows, joy and pain, longing and frustration. Yet, it serves a profound purpose. 
It's a time of self-discovery, of confronting fears, and of understanding the depth of the twin flame connection. It's important to remember that the runner is not necessarily running from their twin flame, but from their own fears and insecurities. The chaser, too, is not just pursuing their twin flame, but also seeking resolution and understanding. This stage can be emotionally taxing, yet it's a transformative period. It's a time of growth, of healing, and of coming to terms with the intensity and the beauty of the twin flame connection. It's a stage that tests the strength of the bond between twin flames that pushes them to their limits and ultimately helps them discover their capacity for unconditional love and acceptance. The runner and chaser stage can be emotionally taxing, but it's a crucial step towards ultimate reunion. It's a journey that may be challenging, but it's one that leads to profound growth, deeper understanding, and ultimately reunion. The surrender stage is where acceptance comes into play. In the grand dance of the twin flame journey, there comes a point where we must relinquish control and surrender to the rhythm of the universe. It's not about giving up, but rather about letting go. The surrender stage is a profound testament to the power of acceptance and trust in the cosmic plan. At this stage, it may feel like you're walking a tightrope between hope and despair, between holding on and letting go. But remember, Surrendering is not a sign of defeat. It's a declaration of trust, trusting the process, trusting the journey, and most importantly, trusting yourself. Surrendering doesn't mean you stop caring about your twin flame. Quite the opposite. It means caring enough about yourself and your journey to give it the space it needs to unfold naturally. It's all about embracing self-love and finding inner peace. Self-love is the cornerstone of the surrender stage. It's about realizing that you are enough, just as you are. It's about understanding that your happiness and fulfillment come from within, not from someone else. As you surrender, you might find yourself questioning everything. But remember, it's okay not to have all the answers. After all, the twin flame journey is not about finding answers, but about exploring questions. It's about discovering who you truly are and what you truly want. Inner peace plays a vital role in the surrender stage. It's the calm in the storm, the eye of the hurricane. It's about finding serenity amidst the chaos, tranquility amidst the turmoil. It's about understanding that peace is not a destination, but a journey. The surrender stage is the bridge between the physical and the spiritual, between the known and the unknown. It's the point where the journey becomes more than just a journey. It becomes a pilgrimage. In the surrender stage, twin flames learn to let go, trust the process, and focus on their own personal growth. It's not about reaching a destination, but about enjoying the journey. It's not about finding the other half, but about becoming whole yourself. In the surrender stage, twin flames learn to let go, trust the process, and focus on their own personal growth. The illumination stage is where the true spiritual awakening occurs. This is the juncture at which the fog of confusion starts to lift and you begin to understand the purpose of your journey. It's the point at which the spiritual dimension of your twin flame relationship comes into sharp focus. In this stage, you start to see the bigger picture you begin to comprehend that your connection with your twin flame is not just about romance, but about spiritual growth and evolution. It's about becoming the best version of yourself, about reaching your highest potential. It's about understanding that the challenges you faced were not obstacles, but opportunities. Opportunities to learn, to grow, to evolve. The illumination stage is transformative, enlightening. It's like suddenly being able to see in color after living in a world of black and white, your intuition becomes sharper, your spiritual senses heightened. You start to realize that you and your twin flame are not two separate entities, but two parts of the same soul. You understand that your connection is not just physical, but spiritual. You feel a deep sense of peace, a profound sense of purpose. This stage is also about alignment, alignment with your true self, alignment with your soul's purpose. You start to shed the layers of fear, doubt and insecurity that have kept you from fully embracing your twin flame connection. You begin to trust in the journey, to trust in the process. 
You start to align your actions with your higher self to make choices that are in harmony with your soul's purpose. The illumination stage is not a destination, but a journey, a journey of self-discovery, of spiritual growth. It's a journey that requires patience, perseverance, and faith, but it's a journey worth taking for it leads to a place of deep understanding, of profound peace, of unconditional love. And so, we come to understand that the illumination stage is more than just a stage in a relationship. It's a stage in your spiritual journey, a stage in your soul's evolution. It's a stage where you learn to see with your heart, not just your eyes. The illumination stage opens the door to profound spiritual growth and self-discovery. Finally, we reach the reunion stage. This is the stage where everything you've been through, every trial and tribulation, every tear shed and moment of doubt begins to make sense. It's the culmination of the twin flame journey where the two souls having traversed the path of self-discovery, self-love and spiritual growth find each other once again. In the reunion stage, a profound transformation occurs. The connection between the twin flames is no longer just physical or emotional, it's spiritual. The bond deepens, becoming something more profound, something sacred. It's as if the universe itself has conspired to bring these two souls together, to unite them in a bond that transcends the boundaries of the material world. Here the twin flames come to understand that their journey was not just about finding each other. It was about finding themselves. It was about understanding that love is not just about possession, but about growth, about evolving together as individuals and as a unit. They learned that their connection, their bond, is not a chain that binds them, but a cord that connects them, allowing them to grow individually, yet together. In the reunion stage, the twin flames realize that their love, their connection, is not just about them. It's about something greater. It's about the universe and their place in it. It's about understanding that their love, their bond, is a part of the cosmic dance, a part of the universal rhythm. And so they come together, not just as lovers, but as twin flames. They come together in love, understanding, and spiritual harmony. They come together not just to be together, but to be one, one with each other, one with the universe, one with the cosmic dance. And in this union, they find not just love, but peace, not just joy, but serenity. Not just companionship, but a sense of belonging, a sense of home. The reunion stage is the ultimate destination where twin flames come together in love, understanding, and spiritual harmony. Now that we've journeyed through the stages of a twin flame reunion, let's take a moment to reflect. We delved into the recognition stage, where the connection is first acknowledged, then moved on to the test, where challenges are faced and lessons learned. We discussed the crisis, a stage of chaos and confusion that often leads to the next stage, the runner and chaser, where one twin tends to flee the intensity of the connection while the other pursues. This often leads to the surrender stage, where both twins let go of the chase and focus on their individual spiritual growth. Next, we illuminated the illumination stage, where twins start to understand their unique connection more deeply, often leading to the reunion the ultimate harmonious union of the twin flames. Throughout these stages, we've seen the cyclical nature of the journey, with stages often repeating as twins continue to grow and evolve. Each stage is not merely a step to overcome, but a vital part of the spiritual awakening process, an opportunity for personal growth that goes hand in hand with this profound connection. Remember, every twin flame journey is unique. It's not about rushing to the next stage or trying to control the process. It's about embracing each stage and the lessons it brings. Trust your intuition, stay patient, and let the journey guide you towards spiritual growth and self-discovery.